For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians 6 and 12. President Biden, the war has just begun. I heard you call for an end to this uncivil war. Is there any other kind? But make no mistake, there will be no more physical violence. We will not set one more foot in Washington, D.C. But do not mistake our absence, nor our silence, for acquiescence. Do not mistake our silence, or our absence, for acquiescence. And you can scry in front of as many reflecting pools as you want to, Worshipping these pharaonic gods, little g. Worshipping your monuments. Taking tours. Of that demonic cyst on our country called Washington, D.C. And it's not going to matter to the people of Florida. I can't speak for the people of other states, but I can speak for ours. For those of you calling into question that assessment... Revelation 9, 20 and 21, The rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues did not repent of the works of their hands, nor give up worshipping demons and idols of gold and silver and bronze and stone and wood which cannot see or hear or walk, nor did they repent of their murders or their sorceries or their sexual immorality or their thefts. Now, some still might be wondering, what are you talking about? Do you know what the word inauguration means? It's the divination of signs. It's what a seer does in front of the crystal ball. There's a line from Hamlet where he speaks of defying augury. The origin of inaugurate. In ancient Rome, the official diviner's job was to interpret signs and portents before an important undertaking. Their function was not to tell the future, but rather to discover whether or not the little g, gods, approved of the action or office before it was undertaken, which is how inaugurate came to mean consecrate or to install. Words have meanings. Words have meanings. This is why I've been so particularly against anyone looking to Washington, D.C. for leadership or any office installed there. Anyone who's ever visited, personally, I have, there is a demonic presence in that city. I am disturbed and uncomfortable every time I've ever been there haven't returned there for quite some time, and have absolutely no intention of doing so ever again, of my own free will. Now, there has been a mandate brought down on federal land. Biden to mandate mask wearing on federal land in executive order, but once again some accidental reporting was done by the mainstream media. Biden's order will also urge, urge states to enact their own mandates. Not happening here. President Biden was sworn into office Wednesday, and one of his first priorities will be to sign an executive order urging Americans to wear masks for a 100 days and requiring them on federal property. On federal property, no problem. I will stay off of all federal property. His first executive order, the, quote, 100-day masking challenge, will require masks and social distancing in all federal buildings and on federal land by federal employees and contractors and on airlines, who already have this, by the way, trains and transit systems traveling between states. Now, you ready for this? While a president cannot tell state and local officials what to require. Let me read that again. While a president cannot tell state and local officials what to require, Biden's order will urge states to enact their own mandates. Most states have already done so, not Florida. Now, 
I'm going to read something for you. This goes back to 2019. This was when our governor was sworn in. And the things that he talked about, and the things that came out of his mouth, so that you can compare and contrast the role, the proper role, of governance. Let me get up here to the top. I didn't realize how far down I had scrolled. Placing his hand on the Bible, he recited the oath. I take the helm of the ship of the state as a Florida native, a veteran of our nation's military, conscious of my own deficiencies, mindful of the great trust that has been placed on me, and thankful for so many of you who have prayed for me. I will not be a rudderless vessel in this endeavor. Another quote. For Florida, the quality of our water and environmental surroundings are foundational to our prosperity. As a state, it doesn't just drive tourism, it affects property values, anchors many local economies, and is central to our quality of life. Governor DeSantis' election was a win for conservatives and those loyal to President Donald Trump. Pardon me. Former President Donald Trump's nationalist policies and agenda. It also secured Republicans' position in the governor's mansion, a post that has not been controlled by a Democrat in nearly 20 years. Both chambers in the state legislature are also controlled by Republicans. Pardon me. Quote, there is honor in jobs that require vocational skills and those who work hard in these trades. Delineating what he was looking for on the Supreme Court, I will only appoint judges who understand the proper role of the courts is to apply the law and Constitution as written, not to legislate from the bench. The Constitution, not the judiciary, is supreme. Now, he canceled his own parade. You know why? You know why he canceled his own parade? Oh, by the way, Jeanette Nunez, Florida's 20th lieutenant governor, highest ranking Hispanic woman to be elected in Florida history. Members of the public also came to witness the event, which historically is followed by a parade. But the parade was canceled this year because the DeSantis's made plans to baptize their son, Mason, at the governor's mansion with water brought back from the Sea of Galilee in Israel. And believe me, there were groups of people who were not happy about this too bad. Don't like it? Leave. If we set the interests of hard-working taxpayers as our true north, then I have no doubt that the state of Florida will cruise to bright new horizons. We will see that rising sun. When events like this happen, virtually all comfort can be found in Scripture. That's where I go. So I guess I will leave this video reading a final one. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Those of you fearing the federal government and its mandates. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Let me repeat that. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample under feet.
because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. There is nothing to fear. There is nothing to fear. In fact, we have a mandate in the spiritual realm. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Like, share, subscribe.